Welcome. Today is another video in my Obsidian task management uh, series of videos we're going to be looking at Todoist specifically today. There's actually a bunch more videos I'm going to do for Todoist. They are going to be available with the course, available only to members right now, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Although if you wait long enough, this course will show up on Skillshare. Buckle up. Let's look at the Obsidian Todoist plugin. So the plugin we're looking at is the Obsidian Todoist plugin. You can see it right here on GitHub, and there'll be a link to it in the show notes below. Um, and what it does, it allows you with some query, you can see their query language, and it will also render out your Todoist tasks in Obsidian and an Obsidian note for you. Um, has a few different arguments. I'm really going to focus just on the filter right now to show you some different ways to use it. But uh, this one is today and overdue, so it'll show you any task that's due today or overdue. And you'll, to do this, you'll really need to know the Obsidian or, or the Todoist filters, um, help articles, introduction to filters. There's also a link to this in the description of the video. So let's dive in and see the plugin in action. First things you're going to need to do is go into your community plugins. You'll browse. You can search Todoist. And we're going to look at the... Uh, Todoist Sync plugin is what it's called here. It's got a couple different names. You can see it's Obsidian X Todoist, Todoist Sync plugin officially, but you'll hit uh, enable or install enable, and then we can go to our options. You need to grab your API key. So I've got that up here, which we blacked out, and you get that from Todoist. If you go to your uh, user account and go to integrations, and right at the bottom is your API token. So let's take a look at this. We actually have some settings here. We can go over to how you fade the tasks, how it auto refreshes, the intervals, how it renders dates, and renders a bunch of different stuff um, from the API. I just left it all the same because that's really all it, it just works. So why would I do anything else? So now we can look at some of our queries. So you can see I've got here, uh, and I'll show this to you. This is in the written version, and I actually have the code rendered so you can see it. So this is, uh, use three back ticks. You're gonna use Todoist uh, to signify the type of query you're doing in Obsidian. You can give it a name. This is inbox and the filter is inbox. So pound for that. Again, this is a valid Todoist filter. And so when I go away from that, you can see it just shows me what's in my inbox, right? This is an inbox task, something. There's an overdue task. There's a Jaguar trimmer that I want. Uh, there's an embedded note. So this actually has a link in Todoist um, right back to a note. Um, and this, again, this is from some of my other plugins that we're showing off, right? So this is a separate plugin created this one right here. Um, and it created current, current task or current paid projects. So this was linking back to specific notes um, uh, that I created tasks for, everything in my inbox. You can also do it based on today. So this one gets the name of today and gets the filter of today because that's a valid uh, Todoist filter. Or we could say this week, right? Next five days. It's another one that is a view I generally like. The upcoming view uh, in uh, Things 3 is similar to this, but I really like the next five days. And we can also say based on um, a tag. So you can see there, I call it errands, at errands, and now it's actually showing me the tasks that I have listed as errands, Jaguar trimmer. Now, another thing you can do is also run multiple um, filters with the pipe character right there, that pipe character. So if we go down to this, I'm now showing this week and overdue. So anything in the next five days, pipe, overdue. Really, anything it says in here on the Todoist filters is exactly what you can do with it. That's how it's going to work. That's how your filters are going to work. So become very familiar with this. So now there's also uh, a way to add tasks from um, the Todoist API. So if I hit uh, Command P, bring up the task or the command uh, prompt in here, then I can look up task and I can add Todoist task. So that's something I can do. This is a task. I can decide which inbox I'm going to put it in, uh, what labels I'm going to use, what date, and priority. Now, something I don't love about this right now is when I hit tab, going to tab to a project. That's great. So I could say groceries, enter, and I hit tab again. It's going to offer me any labels, errands. Great. Hit enter. And I just went to the add. I don't know if you noticed that, but I go from groceries to errands and jump to the add right here. So it doesn't actually let me go to date or to priority at all. I just have to 
jump straight to add. So you have to go and interact with your mouse to do this, which is less than ideal. The other way it lets you do it, we come back down here, is to, um, I can hit Command P, I can say to doist, add to doist task, uh, add it with the current page. So now when I hit enter, it's actually provided a markdown link in here to the current note that I'm in. And again, we have the same issues, right? Tab index takes me to inbox, takes me to labels, takes me to add in the bottom corner. Less than ideal. Now, something I do like this for is if we look at my iPad now, I can actually come in here. And I should actually have to quit it. So that's something you'll have to do. Quit, and I'll open it back up. Just to reset it, because I did toggle the plugin on the desktop, so I'll need to make sure that I'm set up with the right one. But if I hit Command P, I can say task, and now I have my Todoist task. So on your iPad, on your mobile device, you actually have less options for full system keyboard monitoring, whereas Todoist on macOS does have an option to monitor all your keyboard strokes, and you can just add in your tasks when you want. I can't do that on my iPad, but using this, I can now add a task easily, or I can just add a generic task if I'm thinking of it, or I can add a task that links to my current page. So that's something that's really nice uh, about this plugin, that it just enhances the functionality of your mobile devices. Now going back to the desktop view, there are a few things I don't uh, love about it, um, or I don't love or at least notes for it. One thing is you can see it tells you to uh, ignore the Obsidian slash Todoist token file. This is your API token. Now. It says it, you just don't want it to sync so that other people don't have it. The truth is, it doesn't actually work with Obsidian Sync. Like, it doesn't sync back and forth. You have to enter your API token on each device, which is good, so it's not synced. Also, a little bit of a pain in the butt, because then you have to not have your token. Um, so it's secure, I guess, but also I wish it would just get set up for me automatically. That's really it. If you like the video, thumbs up below. If you love it, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, YouTube will let you know something happened. If you're interested in supporting the channel, curtismichael.ca slash education for my courses, curtismichael.ca slash membership for all of my courses included with your membership. And members are already getting more on task management in Obsidian right now early. Or if you're on Skillshare, there are links below to my courses on Skillshare. Have an excellent day.